So I certainly have at least as much boot space as I had in my last diesel car. So there's plenty of room there. Wow, yeah. There's this no is issues. And those seats fold down completely as well. Fine so size. Absolutely, it's dead easy. Um, there's a little 12 volt charger on the side. So if you're carrying stuff that you need to charge there. Good stuff. There's one of the cables in the back for kind of the public charging system. And then if I was, say, at a B&B or something and I only had a three pin socket, there's the charger for that as well. So yeah. dead tight, it'll both fit into that little section. Yeah. So there's your your charger and your option, depending on what type of charger you're using, if you're going on the, the extra fast one as well. So yeah, that works for all the different charging out there, home and fast and out, all yeah, that. You have an option for all of that on the public charging system. Not the Tesla ones, but the, nah. the, the public ones we do have <laughs> no, access no to. And there's loads of apps there to help you find where the yeah, charger absolutely. is. And I've driven off roads going, oh yeah, that charger's there. And I'm like, actually, I'm in the completely wrong place. Yeah, and I'm right. like, well, there must be a charger nearby. And there is. Yeah. So you just, yeah. you're a mile away from one. So you find yeah. it. I laugh because every time I go home to my parents' house, who are 20 kilometers from me, it's like, do you want to charge your car? <laughs> just come 20 kilometers. Yeah, I could yeah, do 20 yeah, trips yeah, and not yeah. need yeah. to charge. I appreciate it. Of I'll have a cup of tea, but I don't need to charge the car just now. But it's, it's lovely to have that option. It's class. That's and I'd have great. no problem someone knocked on my door and said, can I charge? Yeah, I would. <laughs> you, can, you can wait till it's oh, four, four you cent a kilowatt hour. <laughs> come back at night. Yeah. <laughs> charge double. I know, I'm I wouldn't mind either. Yeah. You, know. you wouldn't see anyone stuck like No, no. No. Oh, that's that kind of community coming out again then for the EV drivers, isn't it? That's it. I'm just going to be queuing my house after this video. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 I'll be looking out Free for you. <laughs> so, do you want to take a first spin further up the mountains and see what else we can see from far, further up? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. Let's go. Nice one. Cool. Thanks, Close Paul. this over. Yeah. I'll let you take a first spin on the way down. You don't trust me going uphill, no. <laughs> Not a chance. Well, how do we trust you going downhill? See <laughs> <Yeah>. those roads? <laughs> So what are some of the features of the car, Ruth? Uh, so there's the infotainment system. So you have all your links with your Android Auto um, set up there. So your Spotify and all that, which is great. Oh, cool. um, what I really like is the fact that I can, um, in wintertime, defrost the car from inside. So if I'm going for a morning swim or something, I can have the car defrosted and warmed. There's heated seats, there's a heated steering wheel. There's a lot of there's a lot of luxury in this yeah. car. I've never had anything like it before. You're not running out with a kettle full of water no, anymore. No, no, <laughs> and I have broken. I have um, had a steering wheel, or I have had a, a windscreen shatter. It had a um, yeah, it had a little wow. crack in it, and uh, I poured lukewarm water on it. And it shattered. And it was also that started <laughs> my, bro my brother's car. Yeah. That started has got, got some good stories associated I, with it now. Yeah, I got, a quite the, I got quite a clap from uh, the classmates in engineering when I walked in that morning. So. <laughs> I'd say it's so <laughs> I won't live long in the memory. No, no, no getting away from that one for sure. So there's, I mean, it's an automatic, so it's incredibly easy to drive. The controls yeah. are all up at your hand. Um, yeah. You do have a... Um, kind of an overhang from when you're used to driving a manual in that you keep looking for the gear stick at the start but you kind of get used to that yeah there's nothing there there's, nothing, <laughs> there's, nothing nothing there. There. <laughs> there's absolutely like... nothing there it's completely empty so yeah it takes a bit of getting used to but it's it's an yeah. easy getting used to um but yeah no it's um it's a, there's, there's an app on this car as well that actually shows you where the chargers are oh, cool. so that's kind of handy as well that you can yeah. manage it it's a lot easier if you have a co-pilot on occasion to help you work out where you're going to go for your next charge. Yeah. If you're doing those really long journeys on occasion. Well, definitely. What would be the longest journey any of the two you've done in your EVs now? Um, I've done 400k a few times, 400k each way. Wow. Yeah, so I've done Dingle, um, which was, yeah, that was the, that was being in the flower bed trying to get into the outside <laughs> socket for the B&B. But it worked and there was a fast charger down there as well so it's just working out what you can do so i think it's it's about 390 kilometers each way for me so it's yeah. the full range of the car and it was winter time oh so you probably stopped along the way then i did you? yeah so i would have stopped halfway and then knowing that i the bnb had said they they could charge me so i could at least yeah do it there so i knew i was leaving with a full battery so just a little bit of top up on the way home yeah.